Hey guys, my name is Sonic from Astralis and today we are going to talk about how to counter aggressive plays. So if you want to uh, counter aggressive players, um, it can be very difficult. We often struggle with that in Astralis as well. Um, but what you need to do is that you need to think about your positioning and you have a lot of patience. Um, it can be really cool if you are playing Inferno against a really aggressive team and they want to take banana control and they are just yeah smoking off here and molotoffing all the time. Maybe a guy is molotoffing down mid. Just fall back, wait for them to spend all their nades. And I know a lot of guys hate when you lose that banana control, uh, me included. But it's really not that bad because uh, take some time. Maybe take middle, <clears throat> uh, take that control because then they will force the CTs to maybe set off one guy or maybe two. Um, but they can't play three guys uh, towards banana anymore because uh, then they will lose A. So one guy will definitely fall back. Um, and then you can take middle and then you can come back and retake it. So you have one guy going in here. Throwing like a flashbang up here, so you like make sure that these positions here are flashed as much as possible. Otherwise, you can just Molotov one of the uh, the areas. Uh, Molotov between locks, or you can Molotov here and then retake banana. What is key here is that when you get up here, let's say that you they get the, you get banana for free, and but they are still playing aggressively, flashing out stuff like that. Then you can have one guy here just dodging, and one guy here just waiting here. So as soon as he gets flashed, he will just spray and go around the corner, and then this guy who shouldn't be flashed will come up here and trade this guy. So it's really important that when you're playing against aggr aggressive players that you play with patience and that you play um, together with your teammate. If that doesn't work either, then playing simple Counter-Strike um, I call it is is uh, is also is also can also be beneficial, which which means that you're playing like more as a unit. You have one guy maybe uh, going towards uh, towards A or B, and then you have four guys going together. Um, and it could be just simple like uh, if they don't take uh, banana control, you come up here and then you just walk, and then you get instantly ready to go B because then you just peek around. That's maybe where they're lining up to go out or or you just take the fight to them. If they want to fight banana, then you are then you're ready to, to fight it. Uh, because they will they will work under the assumption that you don't expect them to come. Uh, and that it's just gonna be two guys working banana. Whenever they are killed, we uh we, we have that control. But they will get surprised when they when they see four guys coming. Sometimes the the, the term using uh, their own medicine against them is is uh, actually not that bad. We tried that with, against Furia in the last year when when we decided that okay let's just uh, let's just play aggressively ourselves uh, and that helped a lot in that game. So um, it can be beneficial. So patience or yeah, bring the ball to uh, to their courtyard if you can say that. A little cheeky uh, uh, a trick that you guys can use when you are, if you're going, let's say, four guys towards banana, is that when you come up here, you will have the last last guy maybe throwing a Molotov like this. Because what it will sound like when they are in B is that you're just about to take banana control, and then boom, you are four guys rushing in B. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more content, then uh, please subscribe. And if you have any more suggestions, then feel free to write them to us and we will make sure to cover them in the future. So take care.